You know, one of the things I really liked about the conference, and this is consistent with all conferences, and that is connecting with people and sharing ideas. I got to reconnect with John Micton. Last time I saw him was in 2011 in Singapore. This time around, I got to spend a lot more time talking with him and sharing ideas, learning what he's up to. I got to see Yolanda for the first time. She's uh, in the same role as I am at Atlanta International School. We get to share and learn that we have the exact same type of problems. We find out that we have different ways of solving those problems so that those totally unsolvable problems are possible to fix. I got to meet new people like Stephen from International School of Luxembourg. Find out that we actually have a lot in common, a lot of connections to the past. In the end, you actually find out that everyone that you meet, there's some way, there's some connection. What I'd like to see at conferences is how do we, how do we make those connections happen easier? Because I'm sure there's so many more people that I could have connected with, but it just didn't happen. One of the things I was thinking about was the design of the conference. For the individual sessions, I initially had scheduled myself in, but I found out later it was better just to walk around and peek into all the different sessions. What, whatever interests me, I'd pop in. But the design of the space was difficult to do that. If I were to design the conference, I'd make the vendors be the core and have all the sessions circle out from that core so it'd be very easy to crisscross, discover new sessions. And I think it would be interesting to encourage sort of the ed camping style or there's also bar camping style of conference, meaning that if you go into a session that doesn't fit you, be comfortable with walking out and going to the next session.